So in this video, what should we look at? Heads or tails? Oh, what do you know? It's tails. So I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but a while back I distilled some neutral spirit and then I cut it down just using tap water and it went all cloudy on me. So what I've done here, I thought I'd see if I can make it happen again. So I saved all these jars, 48% down to low 20% ABV, of the tails from a stripping run this is. So I've collected 250 mil into this jar and I'll split it down and chuck 125 into the back jar. So the front ones, I'm going to use just some still bottled uh, water basically in all of these uh, down to 10% ABV. And then in the rear bank of jars, I'm going to chuck in good old fashioned tap water. And I'll see if any of these actually end up going cloudy. So now I'm back after adding the water and if I get on in here slightly I don't know if you'll be able to see but every single jar whether it's tap water or the still bottled water it's all still absolutely crystal clear in every jar. Um, maybe it's because the tails are completely dispersed throughout the run because it's a stripping run and it's not as concentrated as you would get from uh, a reflex mode run. That's possible. So what I did was at the end of this, I chucked all of these jars, every single one of them into one demijohn and it made no difference. Everything was still absolutely crystal clear. So hmm, on to the next one, I think. So here's an additional video of me messing around with the tails again. This time it was from a spirit run. Uh, just a normal sugar wash, uh, put it through the still in reflux mode, uh, so you can see how quickly the ABV drops off. So 70%, 28, 20, and 12. And the plan is the same as last time, get it all down to 10% ABV. Uh, the front bank of jars there, I'll be using the same uh, still water as before. And then in the back bank of jars, just good old fashioned tap water. So here we are back with all these watered down to 10% ABV now. And as you can see, they are all absolutely still crystal clear. I wasn't expecting too much with these two due to the fact of the real low ABV in it. Uh, so the majority of this was obviously water to begin with. Uh, but these two, I was expecting a bit more cloudiness, or some cloudiness to be honest. Because uh, you could really smell the tails in these two. Quite pronounced, but um, yeah, as you can see, even when I hold it up here, you can you see how clear that still is there. So here, as you can see, I'm coming to the end of a run, as the kettle's pretty hot. And the, uh, as you can see there, the condensation coming down the column there looks more like uh, rain on a window than um, high proof alcohol bubbling around in there. So what I'm going to do, I see it's, I'm still taking off the tails at a very quite a slow rate. But my plan is to try and get some cloudy tails. So that's piddling off there pretty quick. As you can see, we are down to about 10% ABV. Heads at 98. Kettles at 98. Almost 99 now. And uh, so the majority of this, 90% of this is water. Hopefully the 10% uh, and even less than that now. There's a load of rubbish going in there. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So here are the tails that I've collected after turning the reflux mode off and boiling the kettle. We were dropping down to well under 10% ABV by the end. 
Now all the tails have been chucked in together so this concoction is somewhere around 30-32% ABV. Um, pretty clear. Yeah, there'll be some in there Captain. It's not crystal crystal clear. Now there might very well be just some lime scale build up from how high I was boiling the kettle for that length of time. But anyway, I know the ABV, I'm going to water this down to 10% ABV using same thing again, one with tap water and one with the still spring water. And um, let's see if anything changes this time. So this is the tap water. So I've just paused it for a second, but what do you think is going to be the outcome of this test? That's exciting, isn't it? That really is a very, very exciting. Nothing at all. Just a few bubbles. So at the end of that third experiment, I've ended up with pretty much the same result, which is a crystal clear product. Um, so this has only happened to me, I think once before that I've had a, a lovely neutral spirit, crystal clear, and then added some tap water into it to cut it down, and it's gone pfft, all cloudy on me. So um, I did the usual thing, searched through the internet, have a look, and uh, some of the consensus seems to be like, you got tails in your product, that's why it went all cloudy. Uh, they didn't talk like that, obviously, but um, so what I did, I filtered it through some of that active carbon, couple of times cleared it right up as good as new again but I didn't want to be doing that every single time so I tried to replicate it by these three examples which was a stripping run at the beginning uh, a spirits run was the middle video and the last one you saw there was me turning the pre-condenser off and the element up a bit to boil the hell out of the wash to try and get all the dregs that I possibly could out but uh, no, still to no avail. So um, I'm pretty confident that I've completely wasted your time in watching this and uh, some of my time as well. So hey, everyone's a winner. Um, but so uh, there we go. So I might mess around with some any, any tales that pop up from future runs and see if I can fathom out what happened when I did it before. But it's odd how it's never happened afterwards so whatever process I did was a bit odd and I didn't obviously record it back then to show you but you, you know what I mean anyway you know what I'm on about so there here's the end of that one hmm. Ooh, it's a nice day out there so let's make the most of it and keep on shining